I'm Capricorn. Welcome to your Spirit Guide messages for May. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Capricorn, we are going to give you some messages from Spirit, your Spirit Guides at this time, what you need to know, the messages most needed. So this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter, male or female. And I guess take the messages here, how they resonate for you. They could be messages of guidance, advice, clarity um confirmation however that resonates for you so i guess only take the ones that you feel are meant for you or resonate for you so we may get several or a lot of different mes messages here i will be pulling three from each oracle deck and then i'll use the tarot to pull like maybe one or two for each card to give a little bit of a uh, further meaning and then i have these prayer cards here which i'll pull a prayer for you at the end so let's see what we have for Capricorn. I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. And you can also uh, check the description box below for your past playlist. Um, if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, I do consider them all timeless. Also down below in the description box, a lot of stuff down there, how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media. Um, if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, or just send mail, that uh, inf info is below also. So... And if you're new and you like how I read my style, check out my channel. You like what you see, feel free to like and uh, subscribe. Um, hit the bell. And um, you'll get about five readings a month. And if you do, thank you. All right. So Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter. What are the messages from Spirit at this time for Capricorn, male or female, for the General Collective? This is a general reading, not a private reading for Capricorn. What are the messages most needed? Okay, definitely that one. I'm going to pull all these cards first and then I'll reveal them. Um, also, if you prefer me to pull them ahead of time and then just come on camera, you can let me know. But I do like to show uh, the shuffling and the pulling of the cards so it's not, you know, you know it's not staged, which I would never do that. But, all right. For Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. What do they need to know at this time? So we have the uh, numerology deck was the first deck here. I have the moonology, I have the soul's journey, and then I have the Arcanum Tarot. And those prayer cards there, I got them at the Dollar Tree. So, and I figured they'd be cute to use for uh, the readings. So I just bought them, two packs, different. there were different packs, and I just kind of mixed them together. So, all right. What are the messages for Capricorn at this time from Spirit, please, that are most needed? Sun and Rising Jupiter, male or female, Charlotte Collective. What are the messages most needed at this time, Spirit, for Capricorn? Is that three? No, oh, you got three. So you ask for three, ask and you shall receive. All right, the soul's journey. Let's see what you need to know. What does Capricorn need to know? What are the messages for Capricorn at this time, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Messages for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter. Hmm. One, two, one more. One more for Capricorn. What do they need to know at this time? Thank you so much. One spirit. One more. All right, I'm going to take this one. All right, let's see what we have for you. We have 67, physical activity, and that's 13, which is four, which is about um, stability. So some of you may need to uh, stabilize your um, health, <laughs> maybe by getting active. You know, we're all kind of inactive right now for those of us who aren't working while we're in this um, quarantine, this lockdown. So don't forget to take care of yourself, your health, in all ways, and get some exercise or just do something physical in some way. If you don't like to exercise, something you enjoy doing, that may be more in the physical nature. So it's so this is really uh, a good time here if you are feeling a little um, unstable or you're feeling like your health isn't so good, it's time to stabilize that energy. And we have here 44, environment. So 44, again, is about stability. Four is about stability, structure, foundation. And we have 44, which is action. Four, four and four, eight, taking action. So maybe get, just getting out in nature and going for a walk or walking your door, dog or gardening or just doing something you enjoy doing outside in nature here in the environment. 
And we have here forgiveness, 96, which is 15, which is six, which is healing and balance. So there's something here that needs forgiveness. If you need someone to forgive you or um, you want someone's forgiveness or how, how, however here, or you need to forgive someone is what I'm trying to say here. I think it's just going to bring in healing and balance. So however that resonates for you. We're going to clarify with the tarot after we go over all these. So here we have have faith in your dreams. So this is about having faith. If you're dreaming too, uh, maybe start journaling your dreams because they may mean something. Um, or whatever dreams you have for yourself, your future, your family, whatever here, have faith that um, you know you can accomplish your dreams if you wish to. There can be growth, expansion, transformation. Something isn't fully manifested because we don't have a full moon here. So there may be need to uh, a need to manifest something here, something that you're dreaming of doing. We have here, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. So I don't know if Sagittarius means anything to anybody. So it's time here to look at the bigger picture, get a bird's eye view, look at all perspectives, all aspects. Uh, dig deeper, look into um, all the details, get more information, learn, so you get the whole scope of things. And we have here, confidence is your key to success, new moon and Leo. So Leo, or it could be the time frames, if that means anything. Sagittarius is the end of November into December. Leo is the end of July into August. Um... But, you know, confidence is the key to your success and has here with have faith in your dreams and whatever you're planning on dreaming, manifesting, I would like to look at the big picture I'm thinking is just to gain all the knowledge, information that you need to, to manifest your dreams into reality is kind of what I'm getting. So we got kind of separate messages there. So let's see what we have from the perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Exactly. And I feel like that tra is transcending from over here. Wow. To so not to give up. Honesty. I can always expect the truth from others, but I can, I but I can expect it from myself. So this is about always being open, honest, and truthful with yourself, with others, always. And death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. So. I, I don't think anyone's going to die here. I'm just thinking um, maybe some of you lost a job recently because of this whole epidemic. Maybe you're working for a business and because everybody's not working, maybe it was a small business that kind of went under and you lost your job. Um, and this could lead to the new beginning here of whatever you always had, um, like that fire in your belly for, whatever you dreamed, like you've always wanted to do. Now you have that opportunity while we're in this energy to learn, expand, to um, gain more knowledge on exactly what you need to do to manifest whatever your dream is. And it's all about having confidence. All right, so, and not giving up. All right, so let's see. And also being honest uh, with those around you saying, hey, look, you know, these are my plans, this is what I wanna do. Um, being honest with yourself. What do you really want to do? What is your soul mission, your soul purpose um, for your future? All right. So however this resonates for you. So let's clarify these energies. Give you Capricorn. What is this physical activity about? For Capricorn, please. Thank you so much. It's pretty clear there, but let's get, um, get one tarot. Clarify the energy. Thank you. So we have the four ones. So a four, again, is about stability, structure, uh, foundation, home life. So we're all kind of stuck at home right now. So if you, you know, if you have a family or whatever, you know, get outside and do some family activities together. Also, probably would strengthen your bonds, make you closer, um, make, you know, the family dynamic, the home more harmonious. All right, so let's see. Um, what is this environment about? So we do have the four of swords. So this is about thinking, uh, thinking, contemplating, meditating, 
resting, recuperating, healing. Some of you wish you could just heal the world. <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's kind of the message I got. Wow. Maybe, you know, you some of you are like almost environmentalists. You know, you believe in um, being active in that way. Maybe you can't right now because of everything is shut down. So, you know, it's about thinking of other ways on how you can help save the environment. Or if you've been indoors a lot, just kind of like sitting there. Again, it's like getting outside in nature, especially with family, doing uh, outdoor activity together as a family unit or with your loved one or however that means for you. All right, so. Or you could be praying for um, world peace, um, you know, a healing of the world. All right, so let's see. Forgiveness, what is that about? I feel like some of you either need to forgive somebody or uh, they need to forgive you uh, something here. So I have something put here. So, okay. So what is this forgiveness about for Capricorn? Can we clarify Nine of Cups? So we have happiness, joy, and wish fulfillment here. So, so I feel like whether it's you forgiving or someone forgiving you, this is only going to lead to much more happiness, joy um, within the dynamic, whatever it is for you, if it's friends or family here. Forgiveness can be had. Someone's overindulging too. Maybe they're recuperating and healing, overcoming that energy. It's all about forgiving that energy also. It may not forget, but you can forgive um, kind of energy. I'm not really getting that, but I'm just feeling like It'll lead to much more happiness within you and in your life if there can be forgiveness on whichever end that needs it. Because it's also about fulfillment. So, you know, happiness, joy, fulfillment, wish fulfillment, or something like that. So, all right. So let's see here. Have faith in your dreams. What is that about for Virgo? It's so windy out right now. Have faith in your dreams for Capricorn. Did I say Virgo? I don't know. I'm Capricorn. Five of Swords. So this is an energy of, is this a losing battle? Do I keep fighting on? Do I give up? Uh, an unfair fight? So feeling like something is an unfair fight or a losing battle? Not sure if you should give up or keep fighting on, but this is telling you to have faith. Whatever you feel like is an unfair situation or you know whatever dreams you have and you feel like well I can't do it because of this because of that it's just unfair but it's telling you to have faith to have faith so let me get one more I don't know I feel like I need one more why is the five of swords here about or maybe you feel like somebody's one-upping you on your path you know the path to your dreams maybe somebody is kind of sabotaging you or one-upping you or something and you feel like it's unfair or something unfair that had happened in your path seven of pentacles so it could be that um and it could be just the ep epidemic right now kind of put a sword in your path and you're like yeah this is so unfair right now but this is telling you the seven of pentacles is to continue to assess analyze um evaluate you know to keep growing those seeds and planting and investing and uh, in any way you need to here because this is about waiting patiently waiting for your fruits to harvest so um, it's saying to keep having faith in that so to keep um, doing what you need to here all right so look at the bigger picture full moon sagittarius for capricorn please thank you so much Nine of Swords. Yeah, stress, fear, fear, worry, and anxiety. Sleepless nights. Maybe you're feeling overwhelmed. Maybe um, you're feeling like it's too much, like there's just too much to accomplish or do or things that I need to look into or um, whatever here. But it's saying it's still telling you here to look at the big bigger picture even though you're feeling like it's just too much, I'm overwhelmed. I'm feeling really stressed and nervous to, nervous about that. So let's get one more. Why is that here? Why is that here? Feeling like, oh my God, I can't do this. It's just too much. I'm overwhelmed. Knight of Cups. 
So this is about taking uh, forward movement in a loving, caring, compassionate energy. So if you could calm your mind and get out of this nervous energy and be more calmful and peaceful, you know, you, you know, this energy too, you know, to keep moving forward also. So I think if you could balance out your energy or maybe ask for help for somebody here. But uh, if you could balance your energy, be more calm, peaceful, harmonious energy. And just keep moving along here. Uh, I think you'll be fine. There's no need to overthink, overstress, or worry yourself about this. You may have until like Sagittarius season too. So don't be too anxious. All right. So let's see here. What is this confidence your key to success? Three of Cups. So this is celebrating. <laughs> celebrating. So celebrating success here. Being confident. And know that, um, I mean, this is Leo energy. So celebrating something, maybe in the summertime, whatever, it could be success coming into you um, in the summertime. And celebrating that, that Three of Cups is celebrating energy. So be confident and you'll be celebrating success here, maybe in the summertime. So whatever that means for you. All right, so... So let's see, though, what are we celebrating? What are we celebrating? Can we get another card? What are we celebrating here? Or Capricorn, what are we celebrating? What success are we celebrating? The hangman. So something that was on a pause or a break or had to take, you know, could be because, of, again, this whole epidemic. Something had to go in limbo. <laughs> had to, you know, be stopped here, but now we're celebrating in the summertime. So maybe things will somewhat start to get back to normal in the summertime, and now we're celebrating. Um, things are successful again. So if you have your own business or something here, or just going back to work or whatever here, um, celebrating some kind of success after there was a pause, a break, or things were hung up. All right, so let's see here. What is this perseverance? I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. What do we have here? Wow. So, so we have the Ace of Pentacles, and we have Temperance, and we have the Two of Pentacles. So this is about patience, balance, you know, what is meant for you coming in, peace and harmony. Two of Pentacles, you know, balancing out, juggling out your energy. Um... But we do have a stable new beginning here based on growth, prosperity, abundance, stability for the long term. So it's saying not to give up as much as things may feel imbalanced right now or out of whack to try to remain balanced because the major here is balance and the minor is imbalanced. So you can overcome this because we have a major over the minor of balance and imbalance. So there will be peace, harmony, and balance here to balance out that energy because you do have this pentacle coming in here that's divinely guided for long-term success and whatever that is for you not to give up. So it could be a new job, a career opportunity, uh, money coming in, uh, something here that will lead to long-term abundance and not to give up whatever that means for you. So if you're fighting for something monetary or something like that, to be patient, all right, so let's see here what this honesty is about for you, Capricorn. Let's move these over here. What is this honesty about? The Ace of Wands. So, and I had said that, you know, if you are thinking about going in, following your dreams, going in a new direction, um, and being honest about, okay, this is what lights my fire. This is what my passion is. This is my creative creativity, my idea. Uh, it's exciting for you. You love it. You're passionate about it. This is a passionate new beginning of some kind that you feel like just lights your soul up with fire. This is being being. This is you being honest with you and those around you that this is what my new beginning is. So, and again, because we have death here, so it could be some of you lost a job or something like that. So you're like, you know what? I'm gonna follow my dreams now getting ready during this time so then when things get back to normal you know you can go right after it what is this here for death here for Capricorn please thank you so much 
the moon. So, you know, the moon can be about not seeing the path clearly or being disillusioned or having strong feelings about something. Um, secrets also. I don't know, I feel like I need one more. Not seeing the path clearly, but then there's always enlightenment because the sun al always rises. Wow, that's way too many. Let's take this one. Strength. Yeah, so being strong, confident. And we have confidence is your key to success. And here's that confidence. Uh, drive, ambition, go-getter, being strong, vigilant, and brave. Willpower, endurance, stamina. So two majors here. So, so you have strength here to have this new beginning, even though you may not see the path cl clearly. Um, or you were keeping it a secret from others or whatever here. Now having the strength, and that is the key to your success. And having that confidence to a new beginning here of some kind. Wow. Let's see what's on the bottom. So the magician, so you can manifest new things in your life. You have all the to tools, the resources, everything you need to know here to manifest this new beginning. Wow. All right, so let's get a prayer for you, Capricorn. Let's get a closing prayer for you for Capricorn. A prayer for Capricorn, please, to close out this reading. What do they need to know? What is the prayer for Capricorn, please? Wow, this card's uh, being wonky. All right, one card for Capricorn, please. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm feeling this one. So we have here, I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. So this is given thanks to the things coming into your life, the blessings coming into your life, because you do have the power to manifest this. All this energy here and giving thanks, being grateful for what you have or what, what will be coming in your life. Wow. Okay, Capricorn, uh, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.